Ah, yes, a word problem. So let's see what we have here. The table shows revenue from sales of t-shirts by and other memorabilia sold by two different vendors during and one week during hmm, the World Series. One week after the World Series. If the sales at an exponential rate identify the continuous, and that continuous is a important word, rate of decline for each vendor's sales, then write an exponential equation to model each situation. Now, I've probably got to think back to what that continuous rate of growth or decay is. And if you remember, let's say that that's, uh, let's say N, we're going to call it T for time, equals N O times the natural base raised to the power of K times T. See if I can write that a little bit better. Got up to the top of the screen, didn't want to write it. So N T time equals N O beginning raised to the natural base times the natural base raised to the power of K times T. All right, so we've got enough at least to figure what our rate of decline is and write an exponential equation. I'm going to be kind of cramped for work, but let's take vendor A. So then we would, in, in plugging this in, I would use the 37,000 for the NT. That's my ending period. So 37,000 equals 300,000 beginning times the natural base raised to the power of K. That's my rate of growth or decline, in this case, decline, times 7. That's the number of days I have. Now, when I divide 37,000 by 300, which is going to be my first step, I get to 0 0.123, and it is repeating. And now that equals the natural base. And let's just say this is now 7K. I'm just going to re reduce that. K times 7 is 7K, K7 or 7K. Now let's take the natural log of both sides to get rid of the natural base E. And now we can say that LN of 0 0.123 equals 7K. And when we divide by 7, I've got ln 0 0.123 over 7 equals k, which is, and I'm going to round this to the nearest thousandth, negative 0 0.299 or 29, negative 29.9 percent rate of decay. And so I can write an exponential equation for this then as n t equals 300,000 times the natural base raised to the power of negative 0 0.299, 299 times t given a number of days. Let's see, what about the next one then? No, I really can't cramp for room, but let's see. Uh, then we would say that 49,000 equals 200,000 times the natural base times K times 7. And when I divide the 49,000 by 200,000, and I'm going to kind of short this escape. It comes to 0 0.245. Well, maybe I need to write that. Well, I'm going to go ahead and 0 0.245 equals E times 7K. 
And then we take the natural log on both sides. Seven K. Seven days times the rate of decline. The ln and the E cancel out. And then I've got ln of 0 0.245 divided by 7 equals K. So that K then equals negative 0 0.201. Round it to the nearest thousandth. Test me on the on your calculator. And so for the second one, then I could write the model as n of t equals 200,000 times the natural base raised to the power of negative 0.201 times time, number of days. All right, well now we're gonna to jump to the calculator and finish it and do another couple of parts of this. This model right here is, a, this is our guide for a continuous rate of growth or a continuous rate of decline. All right, well here I am over on the calculator and I will now, uh, my next piece is to use the model to predict the World Series memorabilia, memorabilia sales for each vendor four weeks after the series ended. So four weeks would be 28 days, 28 times seven. All right, so I had one model that was 300,000, this was for vendor A, times, and I probably don't have to put this multiplication symbol in there, but I just like to, the natural base, second, LM, which is e to the x, and then in parentheses, I want to put my rate of decline, which was negative 0.299. Close parentheses, start another parentheses, and 28. Let's close that, and let's see what we get. This would be in dollars. So by the 28 days later, their sales have totaled $69.38. All right, what about our second model? Now that was 200,000 times the natural base of E. And let's see, that first rate, it was negative 0 0.201. Yeah, 0 0.201. One, close my parentheses, and also for 28 days, let's see what their sales would be, um, all based on our model, our predictive model, and our, oh, much higher, $719.15, okay. Well, it makes sense. The rate of decline for vendor A was almost 30%, 20.29.9, 20 and the rate of decline for the vendor B was 20.1%. That's a bigger difference than I would have anticipated. How about that? All right, well, the last part of this, uh, the last part of this uh, thing asks us to de determine Will the two vendors' sales ever be the same? If so, at what point in time? So I'm going to graph these two. And you can see here I've entered my two models, 300,000 times the natural base raised to the power of negative 0.299. And, of course, I'm X is for the number of days, time. And then 200,000 times the natural base raised to the power of negative 201 times x for time. Let's hit the graph button and see if anything pops up. Maybe I need to hit zoom fit, zoom zero. Let's see if we get anything. Okay. Well, I do have a graph there. Let me change that window just a little bit. And x min, x max, x hmm. I don't know those numbers for why min and why max are so large. Well, let me go back in here. 
look at the graph. I think I'll go look at the table. All right, and so I'm looking for about where Y1 and Y2 might be close to getting to be the same. Y2 is much larger. It's narrowing now. All right, let's see, right there between four. At four, my first model had 90.720, and my second model was 89,507. That's a difference of about of about twelve hundred dollars, maybe roughly. And then at five, it's sixty-seven thousand two seventy-five versus seventy-three thousand. So it's out of the spread. So I think I'm gonna change the table, maybe into tenths. So let's say I'm gonna hit the plus button. And I'm going to say, let me see my table in increments of 0.1. All right, so there at 4.1 days, 88,048 compared to 87,726. There, what, there's about a roughly a $300 difference there, about $320 difference there in sales. And 85,454, 85,590-wise, the second vendor sales has increased faster. Got more sales. Uh, what? That's about 450. So somewhere between 4.1 and 4.2 days, these two vendors would have roughly the same amount in sales activity based upon their different models of selling World Series memorabilia. This does deserve maybe a couple of Shazam, Shazam.